So, for starters, I'm a, you came out of the game. Was there any reason for that? or? Uh, no, just take a little break. That was all. No particular reason, really. <laughs> okay. Um, so you have a five-game hitting streak now. Um, you're hitting around 300. Is the transition from double A to single, from double A to triple A, been as easy as it appears for me for you? Uh, you know, not really. You know, the first few games are pretty tough. You know, the game speeds up a little bit, and each level you go up. But just trying to, there's a lot of veteran pitchers in the league. That's what I kind of noticed. So just trying to find a pitch you can drive. Except to nibble the zone a little bit. So just trying to pick one out that you can hit, and you take your walks when you can, and just kind of keep the line moving. You're a big guy. A lot of big guys try to sell out for that power that you have, but it doesn't seem like you have to do that. It seems like you have a good approach at the plate. Is that something you've grown up with, or how have you learned that approach? Uh, you know, I've been blessed with good teams. I've been playing, always been playing with a good team and having good teammates around me, so I really don't have to worry about trying to hit a home run every time. You know, I just get a single here, a double here, just a walk here and there, you know. Just get on base for the guys behind me and around me. It's, it's kind of always usually works out, so... <laughs> When you hear comparisons to Giancarlo Stanton, Dave Winfield, among others, what goes through your mind when you hear players of that caliber and you're such a young player? And it's an honor, you know. It's pretty cool to hear that, but, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to be the best Aaron I can be. You know, I'm not trying to be Stanton or Winfield. Just go out there and try to be the best Aaron I can be and help the Yankees win however I can. So, Thank you for your time. Yeah, I appreciate great it. Great meeting you.